plaintiff, Terry Bridge, says her son was caught in the middle of her divorce. And through it all, he maintained his grades and was involved in sports. So she wanted to reward him. Terry claims after she gave the defendant a down payment on a truck for her son, the defendant repossessed the vehicle. So she's suing. Defendant Wesley McCarty Jr. admits that he agreed to sell a truck to the plaintiff and took a down payment from her. However, the reason he repossessed the truck is because the plaintiff's son wrecked it and had a for sale sign in the window. He's countersuing for truck repairs. Start with you. I'm here for my son, sir, to defend my son. He's had a hard three years. He was in the middle of a divorce. Um, I wasn't able to see him for a year. And then the next year was four hours visitation. And he's been such a good kid. He hasn't caused any trouble. He's got good grades. He's in sports, basketball, wrestling. He's just an all around good kid. I'd be a mess if I had to go through it. I know I was personally, but he's done really well and I'm very proud of him. And I thought he deserved a reward for his behavior. So he found this truck all on his own and said, mom, can I have this? And I said, sure, I'll do anything in my power to get it for you. So I had given him money and uh, that's where he comes in. I don't know. You want to give me some background? <laughs> yes, sir. It's, it's not as innocent as any of this is, seems. Uh, I did sell the truck to them. Uh, what was she the total to, price? She was to pay me $1,100 for this truck. Okay. Uh, they, the boy, Scott, I believe is his name, uh, they approached me with this truck. He gave me $25 down to hold for this truck. Okay, he come, he was happy. Mm -hmm. He said, I got me two jobs. Or he was working the paper route and he was working another job. Awesome, you know, I can help you. Yeah, I'll sell you this truck, mm -hmm. you know. I talked to both of them and it just did not work out the way that it was supposed to on this end. <laughs> Gave you 25 down, what was the agreement on the balance? And she also had paid me 550 a couple days after that. I think it was the next day or a couple days after that, which brought it up to 575. That was what she had paid initially okay, altogether so for the truck. The balance, how was the balance to be paid? When and well, how? She, had, she told me that she was going to continue to try to get the money. She said she had some loans that she had been trying to so get. So there was no solid agreement on when it was to be repaid? Uh, yeah, yeah, because I told That's what I'm asking Yes, you. sir, yes, sir. I'm sorry, my apologies. When? Uh, it was supposed to be paid within a month. Okay. She had two weeks. All right. Well, yeah. After that, to pay it. Okay. When did that two weeks begin? What month and year? It was probably the middle of September. All right, good enough. Ma'am, you tell me about the purchase and the payment arrangements. Um, part of it that he stated was true, that I went to get loans, I went to several banks. When you're on disability, they mm -hmm. have no so choice. So what happened? Did they approve the loan? No, sir. Okay, did you put money down on the car? I have a receipt truck. here for 600 with his signature. You put $600 says, down on the truck? Correct. All right. You that's put 600 correct. down on 1100 That means you owe 500 Yes, sir. That's what this says. All right. Says. What were the payment terms? Uh, there was no term stipulated. I told him I was continuing to get a loan, and it was the beginning of the month, mm -hmm. and I pay all my bills in the beginning of the month because that's when I get my check, and there was no money to pay him. And I had went to him and told him that I would pay him the full balance on September 12th. There you go. September 12th is when you were to pay. Yes, correct. Of 2013. That's correct. So what happened then? Well, um, it was my birthday on September 1st, and my son calls me and says, Mom, Wes took the truck. So... We went on September 12th, we were running late. We called him up on the phone and told him we were on the way. We wanted him to stay long enough to get the payment because we knew he, where he worked and we had his phone number. And we called to make good on what we had promised. And he said, oh no, now you're gonna have to take me to court. You know, and I didn't get any explanation. Did he ever tell so you why he took the truck? No, there is no why. 
Okay. I'm Let sorry. Let me hear from you, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, the reason I did take the truck back is because it did get damaged, okay? And there was no agreement on September 12th of nothing to pay anything. When she got the truck from me, You we, just told me there was an agreement that she no, would No, there was pay. no Listen, deadline. I heard what you said okay. earlier. You said the balance would be paid by the end of September. You just told me that. She says the balance was to be paid September 12th, even before you expected it. And she says, however, you came and got the car before that. Why did you go and get the car? Because they had a for sale sign in the window and it was damaged and wrecked. And she did not. What talk did you to go me. over there to they see lived, it for? Because they had not been, a, she has not been in touch with me at all. In touch with you the, about what? This truck. He did. What did they need to be in touch with you about? Because they owed me money for it. And, and they I told tried you to they would pay you at the end of September no, by your didn't. own statement. She did not tell me that. That's what you told me. No, sir, I just not what. That is what you okay. told me. You just told me that. There was. When did she tell you she would pay it then? Just try it again. She told me, okay, mm -hmm. that she could not make the payment because she was living in the soup kitchen. When she out bought of the it, I didn't need to hear all that. She told you at some point when she would pay you or not. No. She never told you she could pay you. No. All right, your claim is dismissed for your counterclaim, and yours is granted. You've perjured yourself. Extreme perjury is extreme as it can get. Have a good day. Judging for the plaintiff, your claim is dismissed.